Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a great festive holiday of some description and um, today I have a brand new sort of video for you. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video you will know exactly what I am going to show you now and it is a new subscription box. Now what I'm showing you today was a Christmas present but I have gone ahead and continued the subscription um so yeah i thought i would unbox this box for you and it is a boxu japanese snack box so for christmas uh dominic bought me this box here which does this and inside let me put this the right way is all of this stuff um so yeah i thought we could unbox this together maybe even try a couple of the snacks um and I'll let you know what I think of it, I guess. So I'm going to prop this off in front of me. I've got another box I can put it on. And we can have a look through. So first of all, on top, we have the Seasons of J Japan Boxu Culture Guide. And in here is loads of information about Japan, the seasons, and all that fun stuff. Um, as well as all the different snacks that are inside the box. So we will be referring to this quite often because... I don't read Japan, Japanese. I don't read Japan. I don't read Japanese. I don't understand the language, unfortunately. So I can't really understand what it says on the packets, but this is here to help. Also have a little information card about the box, which is handcrafted by maker Masuda Kiribako. I butchered your name, I know, I apologise. And that he or she is from Fuga City, Fukuoka. Yeah, and we've also got this really cool like postcard which says thank you. Since my earliest days of living in Japan, I've loved discovering delicious snacks from local Japanese snack makers, which is why I'm thrilled to present you with this first box curated across the culturally rich regions and seasons of Japan. And a little bit about the story of the people who personally cost out this, Danny Tiang or Danny Tiang. I don't know, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it because I will butcher it and it would be embarrassing. So this is what it looks like inside don't let them fall out we have got multiples of every snack and whatnot so that will be lots of fun means more than just me can try them so let's try and find them in the order so it looks like we've got different snacks from the different seasons I think so I think the first lot of snacks we've got is spring so this says spring boasts a short burst of cherry blossoms that quickly fade away during the cherry blossom season people gather for gather for hanami hanami literally flower viewing friends and family sit beneath the flowers and enjoy good food and drinks so the first snack we got is a mokon dango mochi so let's see if we can find that so these are the mochi so this says let's find out a bit more about them because this is fun i love this i'm a right old nerd hanamai dango is a variety of sticky rice dumplings commonly enjoyed during the spring hanamai flower viewing season this tree of dango is covered in sugar and colored in the traditional pink white and green so i don't know if you've had they were a bit of a craze those mochi ball ice cream things this is what they are but without the ice cream basically so yes there's no allergens flavor is sweet um but they're not vegetarian either interesting so they are really really cute they are i just they're kawaii i guess is the word that you'd use so yeah next up we have got stick potato super macho plum oh my god the character on them can you see this little how cute is that <laughs> so these are like an ode to the japanese plum umi or um tree every bite of these thin crispy potato sticks carries the floral notes of plum blossoms the sourness of ume boshi which is pickled plum and the earthiness of shiso which is perilla leaves so they're plum flavored crisps which is a British person I'm like huh but they sound really nice the 20th century pear langu de chat pear fromage biscuits which tells me they're like yogurty if they say fromage on them 
so that's them there and they are it says this delicious biscuit is a luxurious blend of 20th century asian pear nijesiki nashi rich cheese and decadent white chocolate so they're like cheesecakey then interesting um and they are sweet not appropriate for vegetarians common allergens are milk eggs wheat and soy and also contains alcohol hi <laughs> Finally, we have got a white strawberry, which I think are these here. And these cool, like, triangular sort of packets. And they're actually boxy ones. So they make, boxy obviously make their own snacks as well, which is cool. So this says, this is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry. Strawberries are harvested, freeze dries, and infused with white chocolate and cooled for a choc for a chocolate and called for a chocolate with all the flavor of fresh strawberry and they're box exclusive because obviously they make them so that's pretty pretty cool shall we move on to i think this is summer so first of all we have edamame sembe oh i do love my edamame beans <laughs> which are these here so it says made with summer harvested edamame bits Baked into the cracker, this senbai is sprinkled with kinako, which is a roasted soybean powder, and has a deliciously nutty crunch. I feel like summer's very healthy, very savoury, you know? Not so like, yummy, all yummy, but you know. Uh, then we've got seaweed tempura, satuchi sudachi. It's like another bag of crisps sort of thing. Ooh. So that is what that looks like. <laughs> um, interesting. So they say these addictive seaweed sheets are battered fried and flavoured with native Japanese sudachi citrus to create a crisp and tangy snack that will leave your taste buds tingling. Uh, next we have, ooh, <laughs> we have some handmade yuzu sake candy. Oh, is this in here? It is. I'm really bad at this. They look like boiled sweets. That's really cool. And then a resealable bag and everything. So yeah. Oh, oh, they look cool. Mm. This is made by Boxu and another company called Daimonji. It does also tell me in here what companies make what. So yeah, so this is a bit of an exclusive as well, I guess. But it's from their Boxu Maker series. Um, So this candy is handcrafted by the artisans at Daimonji exclusively for Boxu. Our version blends yuzu juice and peel with sake for a refreshingly citrusy candy. This candy contains 0.1% alcohol content, so please consume responsibly. Next, we have Dondon Yaki. Dondon Yaki is this here. A really cool packet, some nice cute characters on there. Um, and what are these? Named after the sound of the beaten taiko drums heard throughout festivals in Japan, these savoury senbai are fried and marinated in tonkatsu sauce for a flavour that is tangy, peppery and a little sweet. Oh, I didn't read what summer is about in Japan, did I? Oh, let's read that quickly. So, <laughs> summer. Japan turns to citrus fruits to keep cool during intense heat waves. Citrus is there to keep natsubate, natsubate. Um, summer fatigue at bay. Japan's summer festivals are also especially known for their fantastic firework displays and street food. So yeah, should we read autumns before we go into it? <laughs> so autumn, take a hike under the fiery four leaves and experience four flavours like mushroom and apple in uniquely Japanese dishes like the spring's hanamai. Japan also celebrates koyo or the changing of the leaves and people head out for momijigari, literally autumn leaf hunting. That sounds cool. So, oh, these look good. These just look good. So first of all, we have mini red bean crackers. Oh, I love red bean paste. These are our red bean crackers and they are, this golden cracker conceals a thin layer of red bean paste <laughs> that adds a hint of sweetness. Its flavour is inspired by shiruku, traditional Japanese dessert of red, sweet red bean porridge. Now I've had, what I've had red bean paste in is like these pancake things I had at Christmas one year when I spent it with a load of the Asian students at uh, uni and it's what Durham <sighs> I don't know there's a blue character that always ate them um but yeah and I absolutely loved them so oh my god that's exciting we will try some of those at the end <laughs> um but they're sweet they're vegetarian and they also contain milk wheat and soy matcha chocolate stick cake is this here 
which is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so this is this soft cake using matcha for Uji from Uji Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha. Pair an earthy matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips gives this cake a rich, subtly sweet flavour. Black sesame teiko kumamon design, <gasps> which is this guy here. Oh my god, it's like a sesame, it's like a rice cake, but it's made of sesame seeds. But <laughs> this here is it. <gasps> So cute, so so cute. Um, and it says, sorry, I'm getting pins and needles in my legs, so I'm just gonna get a bit casual. Like, <laughs> these say each of these CD drums are handmade in Kumamoto, hometown of Kumamon, by roasting almonds and sesame seeds and mixing them by hand with Mizuami sugar syrup over heat. They are then hand pressed into discs and left to cool into this deliciously nutty snack. That sounds cool. That sounds like something Don would like because he loves his like rice cakes and stuff. So last bit of the hotter. We have got Imori Apple Caramel Yakoi Saibo. So it's like a really thin cookie. Nice. Can't smell anything. I don't know why I try to smell it yet. Um, so this is, this cookie uses apples exclusively from Amori, Japan's apple prefecture. The addition of sweet apple caramel butter gives this sable style cookie a yakoi soft and chewy texture. And now we're on to winter, so we gotta do our little blurby thing first before I forget again. <laughs> winter in Japan always makes us think of the northern prefectures blanketed in fluffy white snow. Head out to one of the many snow festivals across the country and keep chilly nights at bay with grilled corn and roasted sweet potatoes found at the winter festival. <gasps> nice. So we have got Fenwari Mijin Mochi Puffs Kinako, which are these things here, which have gotten a very, very crushed and crumbled on their journey from Japan, but that is fine. A Chigo Seika transforms mochi into the crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection using a secret Propriety process. The puffs are finished with a dust and kinako, which is roasted so soybean powder, for a wildly addicting sweet nutty flavour. We then have some Ashigara green tea, Arana Nami Kurufuji. If I have truly butchered any of these names, I do apologise. Um, but this is our green tea packets. We've got two of those. And this says this green tea comes from the Ashigara district of Hakun or Hakwon, I don't know. One picked Ashigari tea is also lightly steamed in a process called Azamushi. This makes a light coloured aromatic tea. Then we have got, ooh, I've got one of those fish things. <laughs> Fine. We've got one of these. I've always wanted to try one of these. Um, so this is Puku Puku Thai chocolate. Thai or red snapper are associated with New Year's celebrations as a symbol of the good fortune. This snack shares that lucky shape, but it's filled with an airy chocolate mousse and two mochi wafers are a nod to the more traditional sweet monarcha. And we're on to our final snack. We're on to our final set and they are uni rice crackers. I think we've all had some uni rice crackers at some point, haven't we? Um, but these delicious fried crackers pour their lovely unami flavour from the uni, which is sea urchin, and soy sauce. It's savoury and salty without being overly fishy and the crackers oblong shape even looks like an actual sea urchin. And that's everything in the box. So what should we try? I think we need to try some mochi and the red bean crackers for definite. And maybe the sweet potato. Should we try the sweet potato plum things as well? Yes, sounds like a plan. So mochi, red bean, plum crisps. This is the mochi and it is squishy. That's good. That is really, really good. That's really good. Right. I do love mochi. <laughs> Next we have the red bean paste crackers. So this is what they look like. They do have that sweetness coming through. That's really, really nice. Mmm. Yeah, they're really good. Oh, they are really good. <laughs> and then let's try some of these crisps. So they are very, you know, they're really nice. Oh, 
I've fallen in love with Japanese snacks. <laughs> they are very, mmm. Definitely get like the pickled sort of. Mmm. Yum. Put them there for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited for more of these boxes to arrive. And I love that I've got this nice wooden one so I keep all my Japanese snacks nice and safe all together all the time. Thank you for watching. Please give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know which one sounded like the most interesting snack if you can remember what any of them are called. And I'll see you next time. Bye!